Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. And jewelry jars, I think, is what got me started on this whole thing. Watching Thelma uh, for the first time. And we're open a jewelry jar, you know, and then all the other great jewelry people that I started watching. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, I found a new place. I told you I found three jewelry jars from there. Um, here's one for $75. This one was $75. All wearable. I'm going to save that one for Tasha. She said, Mom, at least save me one. Um, this was the smaller one. This was only $25. All wearable. Um, and then I found this one at a different location. Um, and this one looks like a whole bunch of hoopla, but I wasn't going to leave it behind. <laughs> it was $35. And same with this. Uh, this looks like a whole bunch of fun, um, like 80s, uh, 90s earrings. And there's some brooches and some other fun looking things. Some, and it was only $20 cracking. And I was that was a different location. And wasn't going to leave that one behind either because I'm addicted. And welcome if you're new here. Uh, my name is Tanya. And I'm, yeah, if I didn't say already, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Uh, it's the thrill of the hunt more than anything, but um, I do like buying in bulk like this. Uh, so I need to try to make $45 out of this, you know, and chances are uh, I'm going to have a pretty good chance of doing so because it's all wearable. It's not a bunch of uh, craft stuff, so that's kind of promising. Oh. Oh. So, anyways, I thought we'd just go through this together, and yeah, if you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider subscribing. And hit that bell for notifications. I do a sale once a week. Usually do like a haul video and show you what I get throughout the week. And I bring those items to my sale on Sunday evenings at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So be sure and hit that bell for notification. And let's dive into it. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to turn it upside down and let it fall because I don't want to tangle everything. So this is a new spot that I found, and this looks pretty promising. And Okay, got my loop handy, just in case. So this is a little Christmas um, bracelet from Liz and Co. The Co. got ripped off on the tape. That's right on the top. This is gorgeous. What is it? It's all glass, red glass, AB stones. It's amazing. That's what it is. Um, it does look like part of that. Um, where it's come together here, I could easily add a little thing there. Um, and same here. So it's, it's missing a clasp, but that's super duper long, all glass, beautiful faceted AB. That's amazing. I love that. That's very cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, here's a little stretchy. You can go over there. Uh, this necklace popped out of that and it's just got a little knot. It's a little gold plated chain and a little heart with a little rhinestone in there. Cute. Um, I love these vintage watches. And what does this say? Oh. Um, this says Bulova L O Low. And that's all it says. So I'm going to dive deeper into this watch. Um, and I'm going to pull the back off and look inside and see what this is made of because 
Uh, yeah, Bulova is a nice watch. And many of times I've found these to be 10 karat gold or better. Let's see, does it say anything in here? No, it's usually on this back plate here. We'll see. <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. Am I going to be able to get that off? With my fingernails. Probably not my fingernails. Hmm. Well, let's see. I, you know, I'm probably going to have to do that in... I need my big magnifier in front of me in my other room. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. I will check it out. Oh, this is cute. This is vintage. And it's got a really neat little clasp there. And these really cute, uh, it's like real lightweight plastic, but they're super cute. Oh my gosh, there's two of these things. Well, these are amazing. I don't know what it is, but I'll do something really cool with it. And there's a chain stuck on that one. Uh, but those are cool. And if you are new here, um, I, I'm an artist. I get really crafty. And lately I've been cutting rocks and carving rocks. So excuse uh, my hands. They're, they're in rough shape. And wow, those are incredible. Whatever that is, those... Um, that's really neat. All that beautiful, colorful enamel work, and then all of those rhinestones on the inside are prong set, and it's very dimensional how it's come together. Those are cool, I, and, and they're heavy. Very interesting. I like it a lot. Uh, here's a bracelet that says God, um, and they're little hearts. No, you can't come in here. You can't come in here. Oh, that's a good stretch. Well, it was a good stretch. Um, here's another stretchy that looks like it's got some glass rhinestones. Another cute little bracelet. Yeah, I'm going to go cut or not. Well, I might cut some new ones today rocks uh, but I'm definitely going to polish up a bunch of the ones that I've started this has got that really neat like sugar finish on there I guess that's the only way I know how to explain that uh, that's a cute little stretch here comes the trine oh that is very cute A necklace. Yeah, for the most part, this so far, this looks all like wearable jewelry. That's cool. Cute little flower brooches. Or not brooches, um, hair clip thingies. <laughs> hair clippy thingies. Wow, this is neat. Uh, yeah, and this, I knew this had to be signed because it's made very well. And it is MVKA or MYKA, Micah. Micah. And those are like. I don't know, some sort of a, this is nice. This is really nice. Made very well, um, very long. It's, it's heavy. You can just tell it's made well. I don't know. <clears throat> you can feel it. You can feel it. A little watch. And what do we got going on here? Um, that's cute.
cute. It's got really great beads. The string looks like this was loved and worn. It could probably be cleaned out by maybe bleach and some Dawn, uh, but the stones are really nice on it. Really cute. Really cute. What is that? That's a cool ring. Clearly magnetic. Um, and it's got that iridescent like peacock. I don't know if you're seeing that in this lighting, but oh, my hand itches as if I'm going to find treasure or something. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> my hand is itching on the palm. Um, well, one is broken. It's missing the post that goes through the ear, but I, I'm a crafter, so uh, those are great for crafting. This is very substantial, heavy, really nicely made, and probably nothing. Let's see. I mean, everything else was sticking to this, but it's not a very strong magnet. It's a nice bracelet. It's nice. Okay, I know not to do that. Dig at the bottom because that's how things get tangled. Patience, lady. I can't believe how much patience I've had. I was having the discussion the other day with uh, my friend Vanessa. How, um, like, Princess Casserole and uh, Thelma Thrift, how they can hold on to jars sitting on a shelf <laughs> for over a year and not have gone through them yet. I mean, my gosh. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I want to know. Uh, this is cool. This is neat. More than likely not silver or anything, but it's a cool bracelet. I mean, necklace. Yeah, so um, I can't believe I've held off this long to open up these. I just, I've been finding myself very busy. I'm working on cleaning up my backyard right now and emptying out my um, gazebo. Not my outdoor living room. There's a separate structure that held my tools and I had it cleaned out and I'll post a picture of it. Um, I posted on my community page what I want it to look like. Kind of. It's just an idea. Um, but it's all going to be like recycled windows and doors, uh, the walls. It's going to be very shabby, chicy, and um, fun. So I'm excited. I'm gonna. I might go look at windows today and pick up some windows. I already have some doors. I do need a set of French doors for the front of it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, Patricia Patsy Craftsy has been building one in her backyard her she shed, her studio or jewelry room. And yeah, it kind of inspired me. I've been wanting to do it, but now that I'm making jewelry, um, and I should be starting my silversmithing classes on Tuesday night, I hope. I hope, I'm expecting the phone call. He said he'd call me. So in about two weeks, and that would be about right now. Um, this is all, icky. It's all icky. Like it's been underwater or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very excited and I've been keeping myself super busy and out of the house and uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to kick. Oh my gosh, my hand is itching right here. What does it mean? <laughs> I'm not superstitious, but my mom was very superstitious. <laughs> That's pretty. I can use those flowers. Those are really pretty. I'm going to use those in one of this, this little art project I've got coming up. Oh, yay. There's two of these. These are beautiful clip-on earrings, and they're 
really pretty glass beads. Very pretty. I hope the lighting is okay. Looks like it's coming across maybe a little dark. And things are cute. Those look like glass pearls. And what are you? I've been eyeballing you this whole time. I suspect this is amber. Wow. Um, what do we have here for a class? That's neat. Um, it very much looks like it's, uh, well, like 10 karat gold or gold filled. At least that part there. Um, I'm going to have to, let me see. Let me look at this under a loop. Huh. It could be very old, brittle amber. Could be, I don't know, a Bakelite. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I have to test it and see what it is. Uh, but it's beautiful. Graduated beads. Um, and it's got a pretty old clasp on there. And I'm going to have to test that because that really looks like, uh, it looks like, old tarnished 10 karat gold and I don't know if you're getting that color or not um, or a really nice gold filled which I don't know that's just a really neat piece I like that a lot that's a little treasure oh it's an elephant and this is by SM and it's a little locket it's got a magnet locket or how does it, it does something. Yeah. Super cute. So this was $45. I'd say definitely so far I've gotten $45 worth of great jewelry out of here so far. I'm excited about this. Really cute. Um, and a new little source of jewelry. And apparently the woman um, where I guess this stuff came from, the woman's been collecting for many, many eons, many, many. So no telling. They had some, most of it was, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I was seeing, but good stuff. I'll do these rings last. There's a couple of really pretty rings here. Oh, there's three. Nice. Uh, yeah, I suspected this was Monet, and it is. Uh, very nice. It's hooked wrong. <laughs> uh, but it's vintage Monet. That's pretty nice. Some earrings. There's another ring. Let's get these necklaces. Wow. What a great jar. Um, I thought I saw the other one earlier to that. This is a great bracelet. That's really pretty. Oh, it's got butterflies all the way around it. Really cute. In good shape. Gold tone. Another stretch. These are all glass beads. And, um, yeah, prong set rhinestones on the inside there. I, I suspect the prong set rhin the rhinestone part might be plastic, but these are glass. Um, just a little, oh, what is that? That's just sweet. Yeah, this is a little tiny thing. Uh, Liz Claiborne. And this is that like pink opaly glass. Opaly glass. This one's so pretty. Very sweet. Liz Claiborne. Oh, 
Um, this has a little rainbow on it and a sunshine. And that's cool. Cool. <laughs> Where's my water? I don't think I'm going out uh, shopping today because I think I've done enough of that. This says uh, Giorgio Beverly Hills. Stretchy ring. Oh boy. You got these little clip on earrings. Cute. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite thing was in this drawer. Oh wow. Huh. That is interesting. I will have to dig on that one. I'm going to have to do some digging. <laughs> oh boy. Here, let's separate all this stuff. All right, here's another bracelet. Oh, that's cute. What does this say at the top of this charm? Coro. Wow very nice. It's a big coral bracelet and uh, that hasn't been engraved yet. But it appears that it's all there. It's signed on the latch too, Coro. That's nice. Very nice. And this is a little seed pearl necklace with a piece of dichroic glass or art glass. Oh, that's got canes in it. And yeah, I'd call that more art glass. That's pretty neat. And then this one with Howlite and Opal glass. Well, some of those, yeah. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, these are cute. This bracelet here. Well, wow, lots of pairs and everything is looks to be in great shape. Amazing. I might just put all this right back into a jar and um, auction it all right back off on and let you guys have the treasure hunt. <laughs> um, and just start it for what I paid for it. There's some really great items in here. And I got one, two, three, four more to go. There's a pair of earrings. What's this? That's Avon. Sweet little necklace. And... All right, this here is just, um, I'm, not, I'm very unsure about all of this tangled mess here. Uh, it looks like there's an Avon necklace in there and another that has multiple layers of things. Oh, this one says Betsy Johnson and it's got a heart. So there's about three necklaces that are all tangled together there. Um, and I'm not going to untangle that. This is really super cute. These are like um, a pale Tahitian style pearl or colored pearl. Really light kind of pastel peacock colors. Very sweet and dainty. And little seed pearls and or seed beads. Little glass seed beads. And two pearls to end it. That's really sweet. Very simple. Really nice look. I like that. That's cute. Adorbs. All right. We've got these. Those are cute. Clip-ons. These are post earrings. What a great jar. I like it. And that is like a horn or something. Oh, I showed you those. Those were groovy. I showed you those. Oh, those are pretty. I love the orange. I might have to steal these. 
for my crafting project. Whoop, stealing them. <laughs> I take it all back. Um, I don't know, some sort of a fraternity pin or something. I collect those too, so I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Awesome. Those are pretty. Long rhinestone earrings. And these are really pretty too. What a great jar. What do you guys think? Let me know. And we got this pair. Looks like maybe there's only one of these. There's probably two. I'm just not seeing it. Um, and I think I only found one of those. I don't know. One of those. These pair of hearts. <gasps> these are cute. Those are cute. All right, the rings. We've got one stretchy, two stretchy. He's a cute little frog. Uh, this one here is very pretty um, and not well constructed on the inside. I mean, you can, it's more than likely not a, any type of a precious metal. There's no wear to it or anything. Um, and it's very pretty. It's a beautiful ring. Uh, showed you that one with the magnetic little thing there. Uh, this one, again, just looks like it's kind of cheaply made. And, yeah, it has an eight with a little arrow and a circle going through it. And it's costume jewelry. Probably a glass thing. This is a pearl on top here. Uh, this is actual pearl, uh, but it's the same type of ring. Uh, and yeah, it's not going to be precious metal, but it's a cute little pearl ring. Now this one, uh, this one is very interesting. This is made very well. And I have found, aha, JDJ. Uh huh. I have found this before where, um, oh, yeah, the way those stones are set in there. I'm going to test this real quick because um, it just says JDJ. Does, there's no other uh, mark in there. And I found a very similar ring, just marked not very similar to that. Hang on one second. Oh, there it is. Uh, where it was just marked with initials and there was no 14 karat mark, but it indeed was 14 karat. So, and this has got a really nice color. It's very well made and I'm just going to check it out. I could be way off and yeah, I'm way off because I just scratched and it appears that it's a copper color coming off of onto the stone and not the same gold color as the ring. Um, but you just never know. Yeah, boom. It took it right away. So, not 14 karat, but really cool ring. And those little stones, whoops. The little stones, the way they're set in there. Um, yeah. It's got a good color, so it's just gold plated. Nice ring though. I don't want to breathe that. Yucky. Yucky. Close the lid. All right, that was it. Uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Ooh, this one, what does it say? It says Sterling 925, which is very repetitive. Um, I find often when these say Sterling 925, um, it's, you don't need to, well, sometimes, I don't know, we'll see. It kind of went on brassy almost, but this lighting is different, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, not Sterling. How about that? I didn't think so. 
Okay. That's it. That's all. I hope y'all had a ball. These are um, pearls. Um, what is that? Malachite. And those are probably not 14 karat gold beads, but yeah, that's it. Okay. Peace out.